everyone. It's really, it went really quickly, really great people, and it was awesome. It was a good start. Yeah, hands down. It's the best squat course I've ever been to. We're actually uh, in building this course to, to, into the end of our trainer onboarding just so we can sort of outsource some of that education and then send, send our trainers to the guy who knows that, that stuff the best. So. Um, basically, just to get a better understanding of how the squat, uh, the good squat is performed mm -hmm. and uh, my own big is you know, biomechanically, some some of my clients couldn't, you know, just look strange some squats, and I couldn't understand why. I felt that um, I've got many years experience um, in personal training, but that was just one area that I didn't really feel completely comfortable. Um, so I really wanted to increase on my knowledge so I could educate my clients and do a, a, an effective squat. I also have my own limitations after injury, and um, I really wanted to work on some regression. I could build my own spot pack back up to where it was previously, and um, yeah, it hit the nail on the head. Okay. Yeah. Well, for us, we, we, we train groups of people, uh, large groups of people at the same time, but we put them under load and we make them squat properly and deadlift and all that kind of stuff. So for us, having a system where we can analyse their movement really quickly at the start means that we can get the training earlier, means we can get better results earlier. And for us, it really comes down to making a little bit more money when we get people tra lifting straight away if we're confident in their ability to do that. Yeah, so for me, I guess, just learning a few simple tools about how to assess people rather than sort of having a lot of ideas and how a squat should look. Um, I've got some really simple tools of how to assess a squat. Uh, I think it's going to get my clients squatting a lot quicker, squatting perfectly a lot quicker rather than spending a lot of time, which is what I've been doing in the past. So, yeah, it's nice to have some simple tools to look at a squat, see what's wrong, uh, and also take some modes, you know, some pretty immediate fixes for those squats. Not only what am I looking for, but how am I going to address it. So, yeah, those, those two things are going to make it a lot easier for me to get my clients squatting uh, a lot sooner than what they have done in the past. Awesome. Yeah, so this course helped me a lot. So I came into this course um, thinking that I knew quite a lot about squats and um, how to help people to achieve a great squat. What Brendan's course has really helped me to realise is not everybody's the same, so not everybody should be squatting in the same way. And the great thing about this course that I've now taken with my clients and with my students is that I now have a system that I can use to quickly identify what type of squat they should be doing and, and what areas of the body they really need to, to work on in order to, to squat really well. And I've also been given a whole lot of tools that I didn't know about before that I can use to help manipulate and, and work with the hardware to get the best results for my client and, and get them squatting in the best way for them. Look, I think, you know, for us up front was that assessment ability, you know, to go two minutes, assess someone, they're cleared to lift, get them straight into a group and get them training is huge. Um, the other big thing is that interaction between uh, mobility and putting someone under load. And I think there's a whole heap of stuff about mobility floating around, but no one really understands, okay, you mobilise them and then are they still cleared to lift? Do we know if that's right? Can we put them under load? Or they have to do some accessory lifts? And tying all that stuff in together, I think, is super powerful for, for all trainers because your clients really feel when they can move better and then they can perform and exercise correctly. So there's a lot of feedback there. And again, it comes down to making money. People who can train, who can get under the bar, uh, they can be a party squad. Uh, apart from getting to hang around with some like-minded fitness professionals and work through some squats, uh, just having Harry's eye for detail on the, on the squatting, um, obviously the course is very well structured and we went through all the mobilisations, the assessments and then the, the different types of squats, but having someone actually there who knows what they've done, uh, what they're doing and uh, knows how to correct what you're doing wrong and just having that eye on, on my squat was, was invaluable. Uh, well, hip stuff, but um, I really enjoyed the mobility work. So he's showing us how to loosen up our hips, um, ankles. Um, we did some rocking with some um, bands, which was amazing because we actually freed up my shoulder, which I didn't realise could impact how you can squat having a tight shoulder or oh. tight tricep. So um, okay. uh, really, really loved that. But there was heaps of learning, and um, that was just one of the things I really, really enjoyed today. Great. Yeah, You've been in. Um, I explain some of the mobility, which it speaks volumes to me. The mobility part of it, um, the way the muscles you know, can, can, can be so tight, yeah. and the different, the different ways of uh, uh, loosening up these muscles. Yeah, no, it's good for me. Uh, I really like some of the mode stuff, some of the mobility stuff, and how it 
had an immediate sort of result. I really uh, I like that. Um, I like the way he answered all the questions. You're able to answer any question that anyone had um, pretty succinctly, so that was that was good as well. It's always nice to be able to dig a little bit deeper than just the presented information. So I thought that was real handy. What I liked about the course was that it was hugely practical. We spent probably 90, 95% of the time actually out in the gym doing practical things, working on each other, working together, and and really applying. The, the tools and the strategies and the techniques that Brendan gave us and we were able to use them straight away and I felt that I learned a lot by just being able to get in there and just being able to do it. Certainly, so I'm on high flow mobile, so okay. I'm, I'm sort of restricted yeah. a little bit in my own body and yeah. uh, I, I just did a compression bandage on my arm or my shoulder and did an yeah. exercise and instead of it being, say, here, went all the way back there, so okay. you know, just learning that part of it. Okay, that's cool. That's yeah, great. big time. Particularly for me, I focused on my front squat during the course, and since then, I've noticed huge gains in my mobility, and, and that's translated to huge gains in my strength as well. I had a PB last week, I've had another PB this week with my front squatting, so um, it's been really valuable for myself as well. This course is is hugely practical for, for a number of different vocations, particularly personal trainers. Any personal trainers, even if you think you do know a lot about squatting, this is going to broaden your horizons. This is going to give you a whole lot of new information and tools to use. Um, anybody else involved in sort of the human movement field, so physios, osteos, chiros, I think this is a valuable course for anybody wanting to understand how to move better, uh, particularly obviously when it comes to squatting as well. So yeah, beneficial for, for anybody in the in the the fitness and the health. Yeah, go and do it. I mean, squats are the king of exercise. Everyone knows that. If it's crossfit, if it's body composition, uh, you know, just longevity and health, everyone recognises that squats one of the foundation movements. Um, no one better than Harry to teach you how to do it. So get stuck in there and learn how to squat properly, learn how to teach it properly, and become a better coach. Uh, anyone and everyone, um, even you know your advanced people who have been in the industry for years. Um, I'd like to consider myself pretty knowledgeable, but that was definitely something that I, um, I needed to work on and um, fine tune. So anyone starting out wanting to. Start from the basics, keep it simple, and learn how to communicate with their clients on an effective and simple, simple level. And you know, then you've got your advanced guides that will definitely um, get some benefits from some extra tips and techniques and some tools. So, uh, anyone that was looking to get in, into bodybuilding or, or training, just generally in the gym, yeah. especially PTs, yeah. because I know a lot of PTs that don't actually understand the, you know, the biomechanics side of, yeah. of tall people and short people. Yeah, so, I mean, I've been lifting for 16 years. I thought I knew a lot, but yeah. it turns out and I didn't. Else today. Well, it really depends what you want. I mean, uh, definitely do it. I mean, apart from all the information and uh, the, the career progression and the, the education that you're going to get, you get your CEC points and, you know, those things suck. CEC courses suck to go to. This one doesn't, so it's win-win. If you want to be able to get your clients to move properly, if you want them to be able to perform the big lifts correctly, understand how those lifts relate to the accessories, uh, and then have them perform really well, and of course make more money, then that costs you. If you don't want any of those things, then I guess maybe it's not. But every trainer I know wants their clients to move better, to perform better, and also to make some more money out of, out of what they're doing. So in that, if that's you, then I think the course is for you.